Hello everyone and anyone, this is Zial from Zial Gaming Etc. And today I have a very special treat uh, for myself and for all of you. Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. Now I loved this game. I love it. Uh, the original edition that is. And now it's come out with voice acting and other improvements, graphical, uh, lots of things uh, besides. It's going to be pretty intense and after uh, a lot of... Uh, reading out dialogue in, in uh, Age of Decadence. I'm looking forward to the uh, voice actors uh, doing some of the work for me, you know what I mean? So we're going to start up a new game here, going the single player route. And honor mode seems tempting, <laughs> but knowing me, it's going to, uh, I'd like to have the option to back up, but I don't think classic mode is going to be enough for me. So we're going to go tactician mode, which um, it's seems to be the hardest difficulty without having only one save file. <laughs> so tactician mode, go. Everything's been improved here. Um, the graphics, uh, I'll be pointing out things from the original that have changed since last time uh, as I go along. But needless to say, I'm excited. Now, we got ourselves our heroes here. Now first off, one of them's got to be named after yours truly. Uh, my girl name that it is, and that'll be Zial. And I'm not much for using the uh, the custom classes. It's nice for them to get armor. It's kind of almost like what what uh, gear do you want them to start with in a sense. Um, but I find that uh, what we're gonna do is we'll start them off with. Uh, there we go. We'll start off looking all rougie. Uh, yeah, that's. Yeah, we'll work on that in a minute. Uh, we're going to customize and look and see where we want to go with this. So we got the rogue specialty. Uh, AI personality, you say. Oh, that I don't think that picture is going to work. Oh, put him in their bikini. Forgot about that. <laughs> so yeah, first off, we got female AI personality. I think I'm going to go with none, so that way they're not going to be... I can kind of role play both sides of things. What could that have done? There must be a way to spring this trap safely. What can I cook? Wow. Okay, we got a different voice samples here. Our enemies have lain a trap. She's gonna be more r rose, so let's do that. Uh, I don't think the underwear really matters, but hey. Uh, this th These are always the fun ones, like the swimsuit. What's the 13 mean? I'm not sure. Um, oh god, put their clothes back on. Clothes on. Make them feel like a pervert here. Uh, da, 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 da. skin color golden touch. Well, I gotta say that I've got a little bit. That's a little bit too dark. Uh, more Marenti. Yeah, looking nice. Uh, okay, let's mess around with the head features a bit. Oh, having some dots in your forehead. Always nice. Circle it. Maybe we'll go hair. Da, 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 da. Well, I have to admit, y'all from um, the Age of Decadence one was kind of rocking the blonde thing. I'm not really uh, that much uh, into blondes normally, but hey, what can I say? Is there any dark haired yet blonde women portraits here? Kinda. I mean, these are things that are absolutely essential, let me tell you. But sometimes it's just nice to have around. There we go. Darker skinned. Kabuki mass. Ooh, okay. We might have to try to go for this. Ah, see, but it doesn't have the blonde, but it's just like that. This looks nice, right? Do 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 do. This is always part. I probably should be, uh, you know, kind of skipping through it here. And these things don't absolutely do not matter. And come see your character. But hey, let's uh, try to go for this. And uh, yeah. Yeah, let's go for that. See if I can find a reasonable looking approximation. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is way more important than skills. Let me tell you. Hmm. Is there any more hairstyles? I mean, they changed a lot of things here. We've got the Princess Leia thing going on. We've got the Afro going on. <laughs> Lots of cool things here. Just so many things. I'm just so excited. What can I say? Uh, we're gonna start with this, and you know what? We'll have them actually match up with the picture, and we'll go white hair. There we go. Okay. Uh, rest of that doesn't matter for the customizing options. Now, starting skills. 
these things have, for the most part, look like they're kind of the same as they were before. I do know that Walk in Shadows is very nice to have, but we're going to customize all of this. Um, weapons. Dual wielding. Now that's interesting. Damage, penalty, and total action costs when you do two weapons. I don't think dual wielding was here before, was it? Hmm. Well, I don't seem to recall it, so we're going that way. Um, moving down all the skill points here. Under Scoundrel. Yep, putting one in Scoundrel is always the way to go. Nasty deeds. Uh, sneaking. Yeah, being able to sneak around is always a good idea, so we'll pop that there. And hopefully we will work on some more of these things as they go along. So they kind of they kind of did uh, the right where you kind of wanted the points to be. Backstabber is always a nice thing to have. Gorilla, increased attack damage while sneaking by 50%. Well, there you go. Uh, there's a lot of great ones. Bully is awesome. Um, they probably have added more too. It all depends on where it goes. Although... You could do really crazy things in this game. You could do the whole I'm a zombie um, sort of um, gameplay if you wanted to. Okay, over on skills. I gotta remember which ones are available to me early. Lacerate, Walk in Shadows. These are all from Scoundrel, right? Well, I think they gave us everything from Scoundrel. Is there anything else that would be worth taking a skill point out to put in? Uh, no, I think we're going to go straight thief here. So I, I lied. I basically took everything there. The attributes is what I might want to look at. Um, something is telling me that uh, in order to perceive traps and perceptions also for critical chance initiative action points, it may be worthwhile for us to perhaps mine dexterity a little bit for that. Or speed. Can't mine the rest of these, unfortunately. So we're gonna pop one more in perception for the idea that this person is gonna be on the front lines and hopefully finding the traps and things before we step on them. So um, sacrifice a little bit of speed, which gives you as many action points. So we'll have to get that up pretty quickly. But being a little bit more perceptive, never a bad thing. Okay, uh, looks like Zial is all set here. So next, Roderick, huh? I don't know about Roderick. Uh, maybe I'll have to come back to that. I have to admit, though, I do like fighters. Um, fighters have got a lot of good things going for them, although it's kind of nice to... Um, uh, what's this with Knight? Not... They have met, uh, Knight gives them some healing options as well. Um, Ranger. There's, see, you have to remember, um, as time goes on, you're going to be getting some AI friends as well. So you want to make sure that you kind of pay attention. And having played the original, hopefully things don't change too much. I may not want to go too crazy um, one way or the other. Although, I kind of like the idea of switching between having a good old-fashioned cleric. Cleric is kind of my favorite class uh, in D&D &D style and everything. So yeah, Seamus. And I'll have to speak like this when I'm using him. Uh, I think we're going to go this way. See how we can move these stats around. See what we can do. Yeah, that looks like him, all right. Um, <laughs> he'll have the... I may have a blade or two that could use a honing. <laughs> not that oh, one. I may have a not blade that or one. Two that could use a honing. Okay. That's not as terrible. Golden touch, huh? All right, come on. Got some old man head. Got some crazy beards. Going on here. Oh, Lord Almighty, that stash is beautiful. I think a tear just came to my eye. So, and there's not any crazy beards, right? Oh, look at that stash. My God, the options. Oh, look at that burly, burly man. I have to admit, I'm a bearded gentleman in real life. So, when I see a stash like that, I'm like, whoa, let's do this thing. Hmm, hot pink, maybe too much. We got the white thing going on here before. There we go. Aged. He looks nice. Let's see if... No. What's the chances we're actually going to come up with a bearded fellow that doesn't... Looks kind of like this picture. Da, 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 moving forward. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty close. <laughs> Some of, I'm sorry, but the mustaches are just too good. Too darn good. So... 
I think we had the best thing we were going to get. Scrolling all the way back to it. The things that matter. There we go. Uh, I, ca I like the hair. I like the hair. It's, it's swept back. It's windswept. And, uh, hmm, what's he going to be wearing for underwear? Well, I like to think that we're all going to show up to the swimsuit competition. And my god, Seamus, you have been working out, buddy. Look at you. Alright, anyway. <laughs> um, I can't look at that. Put your clothes back on, Seamus. You're making me all nervous and flustered here. But yeah, going cleric style here. Um, accepting melee power stance. Uh, if I remember correctly, I wasn't too keen on these, but let's see what we got. Well, re regeneration is, is key. It's nice to have some more heals, especially if I'm going on a harder difficulty. We may be adjusting some of this, but let's look at their stats first. Intelligence is going to elemental and witchcraft spells, offense rating for intelligence-based weapons. Strength, well, he's going to have mana arm skills and how much he can carry. How far you can throw them. Alright, we're going with this. Constitution. Yeah, you're probably gonna have to tank a few hits. Clerics always have to heal tank, right? Um, you know, all this talk of like, I'm gonna create unique characters. I'm like, yeah, let's just use what they came up with. Uh, single-handed. Yep. Shield. That's, that's all cleric stuff. Armor specialist is very nice. Um, Hydra Fist is definitely got a lot of the better healing spells in the game. So we'll keep that, even though um, somebody in the future is going to be good. I don't really have a talker, is something I've noticed. So I might have to shake this up a little bit and get myself a talker. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just uh, kind of rely on things being the way they are. But it, leadership is so good. Um, it's really good to have and Seamus just looks like a leader So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out of armor specialist be a little bit more squishy at the start and get some good old leadership now charisma is Something that we may have to put some points into I may be putting his points spread a little thin here But I think that he's got to have be able to use a weapon um, So I'm not gonna have him use a wand uh, and he's got to be able to be tough. Shield Specialist is going to give him that. Alright, so let's just double check our skills and abilities here. Regeneration is definitely the way to go, although double checking that. Uh, yeah, we're good there. And cancel that, go to the next one. Alright, look at all these choices we have. Divine Light. Basically, chances and warm status. Decreases bodybuilding willpower. Yeah, that's cool and all, but I kind of like... Let's, uh, how do I not make it? Okay, let's, um... Hmm. Okay, here we go. Let's remove... So Divine Light, is that just something I, I have because of Mano Arms Notice? Huh, I wonder if I, I don't know if I can get rid of it, actually. Ah, I can remove it here. Okay. So I want to do setting warm status. Well, I don't really have any things that are going to be able to kind of work off of that at start. So we're going to do good old battering ram. This is a awesome get where you need to be uh, spell there. Then the melee stance, once again, that was chance the hit goes down substantially so we're not really too keen on that um 90 percent be struck by divine light for three turns well a cone decreases willpower uh you know what to heck with it divine light sounds cool we're taking it and but we just want to get battering ram because i love that spell okay except so seamus you Beast of a man, you are our leader. May you lead us to glory and to uh, many, many great deeds. Except, all right. So here's our two heroes. We both got a, the same kind of thing going on, but into the story we go. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. These guys are awesome. In the days of old, 
The sorcerers of Rivalong cured the sick and healed the wounded through a great power called Source. But a terrible darkness invaded the land, and Source was forever tainted. The sorcerers who once healed now only destroy, and madness has overtaken them. A few brave Source hunters are all that stand between Rivalon and the dark power that threatens to destroy it. Wherever Source appears, hunters follow. That's us. Yeah, this is all new from, uh, from before. Rise and shine, Master Source Hunters. The cam wants you up on deck. Hear them calls? Means we're close to shore. I don't ever you're going there, Master Source Hunters. City's full Hunters. of undead, hungry enough for blood. But you're supposed to investigate that murder, ain't you? They say it's Source that did the counselor in. Source in a city like Sicil, nowhere safe anymore. Here they are, Captain Sir. God's blessings on you, Hunters. You'll be happy to hear we've reached Sicil. But there's trouble offshore, so we'll have to sail in carefully. Here, have a look. Those are orc ships, and they're blocking our passage. We'll get you as close to the city as we can, and drop you off at the beach. Be wary now. Orcs are on the attack. Undead have closed every route out, and there's a sorcerer on the loose. You know a lot Fear about the space you have been in. The luck of the gods be with you, Lord. Source hunters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like coming back to an old friend here. This reminds me, um, the uh, Kickstarter for Divinity Original Sin 2 did amazing, which is very awesome to hear because these guys deserve all the credit. All right. And we are going to start up on the beach. Okay, I'm gonna take off these t tool tips, and if I forget something, I forget something. And what the heck is that? I have a holy hand grenade. <laughs> all right, cool. We're all chained together here. And what do you have? A smoke grenade. They gave a lot of these things new, new looks. Okay, now this is made me reacquainting myself with the controls a little bit. It's a little bit slower than I remember it being. Oh, that's right, sneaking is C. And <laughs> you gotta love the sneak animation. I'm a tree! Alright, <laughs> I get way too excited about these sort of things. Alright, uh, we're started off in a very finest here. Yeah, fighting knife, yeah, look at that. They made these things nice and big for console users. I may have to adjust some of the features, we'll see. Um, okay, Zial is all set. Seamus has got himself a good old club for beating people. All right, so up into adventure we go. Do, do, do. The ships are breaking. Ooh, oh, auto save, okay. Which does remind me, make sure to have my, there we go, there's quick save right there. Every crate is important, and every crate shall be mine. Okay, yeah, being sure I got the button right, I think the space bar also does it. If do, do, do. I didn't know there were orc ships raiding to the west, I'd mistake this for a placid beach. At least the orcs make a bit of noise when they attack. It's dark dealing sorcerers that'll strike with neither warning nor mercy. Awesome. We are devoted to our cause. Oh, what's this? A dead gentleman? Is that a corpse? What's it doing here alone? What, did you expect it to have an entourage? <laughs> James is kind of a dick. Alright, dead man. Traveler's journal, by the looks of it, it's tumbled down some cliffs. Okay, we'll have to give that a read. And what's that you have there, buddy? Rain scroll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One of those, if I remember things properly, not a bad idea to have that on the ready. Um, okay, so dead body. Let's see what the journal had to say. Nope. Yeah, we're good. 
Rejoice, for the statues have granted my wish. Their whimsical nature, however, must not be taken lightly. So before I soar through the sky like an eagle, I shall attempt a mere hop from the cliffs of the beach. It should be a small feat for a man that can fly. If this experiment is successful, the sun shall be my next target. Well, hold on, Icarus. Hold on. Up. Oh. And this is a kind of divinity's thing. Now we get to role play against one another, um, and we'll have to Can see how this shakes this? out. The man jumped off a cliff at the behest of some statues of all things. Okay. Let's see if they actually say it when I pick the first one. Pick number one here. Well, great deeds require the occasional leap of faith. I myself might have done the same. and end up a stiff tangle of limbs on a forgotten beach. I prefer a measured step to a flailing leap, thanks. Oh, okay, so there we go. Now, this is the trait system, right? Uh, traits. And this is something that you can definitely min-max, although we may just be, uh, for the sake of role-playing and such, I uh, may be kind of keeping things. Pragmatic gives you a little bit more crafting. Uh, but romantic is definitely nice because lucky charm just gives you better loot if you find things but it's important to role play against one another it's also important to take everything you've ever seen poison flask uh, I believe I'm gonna have to combine that with something else the crafting engine if I remember correctly nah nah it just says you can use it well hey if anyone's gonna be using that it's gonna be Zial so Moving around, checking everything before I go to places I know where things are. Taking all the shells. If I remember correctly, consume. Send to Seamus. We have different ones. It's a different one. Effects unknown. Oh. Okay, maybe it's before you drink them for the first time. Or drink. You don't drink a clam. You scoop it out, don't you? All right, and picking up all the shells of the beach. Really, like any classic RPG, pick up all the things you can. Now, let's see. Here's our map here. Um, looks like the place I was thinking about. Yep, we got to go around here, so we'll definitely be entering our very first little section here. Let's see. We'll try to do the whole sneaky sneaky. Meanwhile, Seamus approaches. What's up? Here, you're a bush, too. You're just not as good at it. I don't think I've ever done this before like this. Ooh, okay, it's kind of exciting. I could. I definitely could, but I... I'm kind of used to always encountering these guys. First time I've ever uh, snuck by. World turning all black and white. <laughs> I'm a rock. A mysterious moving rock. 30 XP for having seen this. I wonder if I just passed out on the encounter by uh, doing this. Oops. I'm a strawberry. Okay. Fire arrows. Parts fire arrow heads, probably. And you can open up lots of things and just kind of go through them all. Okay. Oh, and a shovel. Well, Seamus, my friend, you got the strength. You got the power. So you will be there to shovel up things as needed. It's uh, surprising how often that comes up. Okay. It's a shell. Everything. It's a, nope, not a different type of shell. Walking along the beach, we'll have ourselves some adventure. Although, I'm passing by those guys, I wonder if I passed by it, because uh, there definitely uh, were some ne'er too well people before. But sneaking was something I've never done at that beginning there, uh, caused me to not have to deal with them. But what's this now? Quick saving just in case it somehow destroy the universe by its choices. Look! A wanderer comes my way. Walking the sands upon which this poor shell must suffer. Who are you, Sir Shell? Call me Ishmael. 
son of the sea, an outcast upon these wretched shores, an exiled shell doomed to live under a canopy of arid sky, not his native tender water. Strange you can tell. Of course I can talk, don't be silly. There's more tongue to me than heart. Indeed, the surprise should be mine, for I still remember the days when your kind swung from branches and plucked the vermin out of their neighbor's fur. Oh. Wow. You don't seem to remember the past very fondly. Time is an indulgent mistress to one who spends happy hours as she passes. But when your existence is one of misery, she becomes a lethargic hound. Oh, I remember ancient times, but I have lain here since antiquity, when the ruins around us were palaces, and the sun-bleached dead merry children. All this I have seen, alive, alone, no. alas. <laughs> you say you're doomed? My fate is a cruel one, I assure you. How many snot noses have held me up against their dirty little ears only to claim they can hear the ocean? Of course they can hear her, the rats. We are on the very edge of the great aquatic mother whose embrace I so desperately long for. So it's the sea's embrace yes, you long for. Yes, I, King of Pearls, ache to repose anew on his hollow throne. Hurl me toward the water. Swing me as far as your arm strength gives peace. And treasure long sunk, I will grant thee. All right, I'll decide what to do with what you. What do you say, kind knight? Will you return the king of pearls to the sea so he may yield you long lost treasure? All right. Well, uh, this is one of the situations where we gotta we got to uh, do the roleplay thing. Zial is a uh, rogue. She's interested in stealing stuff, so. King of Pearls, you say? Well, hopefully she'll say. King of Pearls, you say? Sounds lucrative. Let's sell him to a local merchant. Seamus is not uh, gonna go for that. Don't be so selfish. For the sea he longs, so to the sea we should return him. <laughs> okay, so we have options here to play the conversation mini game. Since we're both terrible at it, it's pretty much rock, paper, and scissors back and forth, but. All right, we'll do it your way. All right, we'll do it your way. Liberator, kind benefactor. Hmm, there we go. Me the of your sea -bound the sea, <laughs> the sea, the sea, the sea. I have returned. Where every wave feels like a worm that needs to be. May the bounty of the deep be yours, along with my eternal gratitude. Boom! Okay. Journal updated. Ooh. Mermaid's kiss. Water resistant, more HP. And some gold. Uh, it's not bad. It, it's a ring, alright. And anything that gives you anything is good, which is that is that sentence to work. Uh you are probably a more squishy person, so you are gonna get that. And we're gonna move on. Uh let's see what altruistic gave us. Um, obedience. Um, you receive a willpower bonus whenever a character of leadership is in sight. So there we go. Seamus being our leader kind of paid off there. Oh, also, since she gained some more HP, time to cast heal on your comrade there, Seamus. Man, the spell effects are cool now. Alright. Uh, but what was that, Seamus? Um, what? Wait, what? Sandalore. I don't recall this. <laughs> These things. A golden elements. The golden grail. This grail was just inside at the right time. Alright. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> but does it give you anything? Whatever. Seamus is gonna wear his, uh, his very finest. And, um. Yeah. Xanthor's trucks. I don't remember that. Your grandma always did advise you to buy underpants that breathe after all. Well, yeah, thanks, Grandma. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna keep on moving back. And, uh, this might be a little boring to, uh, Divinity Original Sin veterans, but we're gonna go through that, their optional dungeon that we passed by. 
just so we can see what's different from the previous game, or I can see what's different. And we'll examine, uh, we'll see if there's anything new to be found there. Plus, considering the fact that I was sneaking before, I kind of missed out on a combat I know for a fact takes place. So, <laughs> I outthunk myself there. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I don't have uh, a person who can talk to animals. I should have done that. Anyway, because um, talking to, believe it or not, you can talk to this rat here, and this rat's going to be like, what's up? Yep, squeak. It's always going to say now, but that's a lot of dialogue could be missing. All right, so checking this out. I do not have any lockpick, but Seamus doesn't think that's, well, uh, Seamus, what do you think, buddy? Hi yeah. I'm not sure who said that, but we got some cool stuff here. Yeah, cloth cap. Oh, yeah And some more poison flask. Let's look and see this beautiful 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 helmet here uh, Does he even give me seven armor rating boom? Although we'll take it off for distinctive looks or we'll make sure it will show up uh, in combat But not all the time All right now basically any uh, thing that's Base that can be highlighted, you kind of open her up. Yep, moving forward. We'll get through the first part here. Oh no, barrels block her way, not barrels. Not. And a classic. Is the space bar take it too? Oh, there's our timer, so we're just gonna wrap up this part here. Got ourselves Adventurer's Guide, these are good for the reading. Yep, okay, space bar definitely opens them, takes what you need. Take it. Take it. We'll uh, examine things right afterwards. Okay, yep, take it. Wooden stake. It's a better one-handed weapon than I have. It's actually about the same. Uh, it's funny, although if any vampires come along, I am set. Okay, and this first little tutorial that, as soon as I turn off the tutorials, is going to tell me. It's called Pick Up Barrels and Throw Them. Seamus, move. Okay. So moving forward just a hair. See what's up next. Careful. There's a mine in the middle of our path. Okay, well have an interest in protecting whatever's kept here. Okay, well this is a wonderful stopping point for the beginning, because we'll have to take care of this mine. Will I be able to do it? We'll find out next time. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is the first video of the series, so if you liked it, please consider leaving a like and subscribe for more Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. That is a mouthful. Um, content going to be coming. I also have a bit of age decadence. I'm kind of rocking the tactical RPGs right now, what can I say? I uh, hope everyone has a great day, and I will see y'all later. Well, see y'all later. Oh, I just used my name like a pun. My bad. <laughs> have a good day, y'all. Cheers.